name, it says Sprite 1. And on the top left hand side, you've got to zoom all the way to the top left hand side, and you'll see three tabs code, costumes, and sounds. When you click on sounds, no, we don't want to click on sounds because that's way too advanced for us now. We're going to click on costumes. You have to know the easy stuff before you can do the difficult stuff. Okay. So we click on costumes and you'll see on the left hand side, I know this looks very complicated, but don't worry about it. We're going to, we're going to ignore this middle section here now. Okay. We're going to look on the extreme left. Extreme left will have costume one and costume two. When you click on costume two, well, there we go. Zora, which is the name of this little sprite, I'm calling him Zora, or her, Miss Zora over here. She is now saying hello. As you can see, the appearance has changed. Costume one, costume two, costume one, costume two. All right, but we're going to get really productive because we want to do our own thing, don't we? We are going to make that program I talked about yesterday, which I showed you on the um, beginning of this uh, lesson. I showed you our little screen in the PowerPoint slide. You saw the grid with some animals on it. They're going to walk around. So what to do that, we are going to put animals on the screen instead of a Miss Zora. Instead of Miss Zora. So poor Zora, you're going to have to go in to the side for now. So how are we going to do that? You click on Zora here at the bottom. Can you see my mouse right at the bottom of your screen? You'll see a, let me maximize this window. You will see a, um, okay. Right at the bottom here, you will see the sprite. And then you either click on it and right click and delete, or you can click on the button over there. All right, before I go, I just want to get out of this. Screen. Right now, I need to know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes or no? Okay, I'm sure someone will tell me. Hey, the host will tell me if you cannot see the screen. Right, so we don't have any sprites on our stage, and our sprite is actually, thank you, Lisa. The sprite is actually, I mean, not the sprite, the stage is blank. The display area or stage is blank. Okay, we want to put some sprites on it. So we go over here to the bottom of the side here, and you can see it says choose a sprite. So I click on choose a sprite, and I click on choose a sprite. Well, I didn't even have to click, I just moved my mouse over it. And then we go to choose a sprite, or we go to paint, or we go to surprise, or we go and upload a sprite. When you upload sprites and so on, then you will actually be using picture files, like JPG files, pictures in other words. Anyway, choosing a sprite, you can get the sprite from the library of Emma Zora by clicking on that magnifying glass. And now we're going to go and get all the animals that we want for our, um, for our picture. So there's a dog. And we go to animals and I'm do this fast because we did it yesterday already and I don't want to waste too much time. I want to start moving animals on the screen. Um, if I'm going to fast, you obviously don't have to tell me, hey, fish. So I click on choose a sprite, click on the magnifying glass, click on animals. Then I'm going to find, we had an owl, so let's find the owl. O for L, there it is, all oh, alphabetical order. So yesterday I, I didn't even know my alphabet. I didn't realize cat began with a C. We want Ben, the soccer player. I'm assuming he's gonna play soccer. Right, you never know, maybe he will play soccer in our program. Choose a sprite. Um, I don't know, if, did I get the cat already? Oops, yeah, I've got a cat. See, now I've got too many. I must space them out. I need to see what they are. So you can move them around. They're like objects you move them around. So there's my cat. I can right click on it. Oops, not on it. I could right click at the bottom over here. I've got, I've got two cats. I'm going to right click on one of them and I'm going to click on delete. Right click is a super awesome tool. In case you didn't know, your right click on your mouse is very powerful. 
Sorry, choose a backdrop. No, no, we're not choosing a backdrop. We are choosing a sprite. It's so easy to get mixed up between these two. Hey, so we have to be careful. Choose a sprite, click the magnifying glass, and then let's go and find uh, the other ones that we need. We need a horse. Begins with an H, H for horse. Where are you? There we go, horse. Then we need, I forgot what we need next, a duck. So animals, D for duck. Where are you? There you are. And so we have to get a frog. And I think that'll be the end of that. We're finished with all the animals that we need. F for frog, there he is, it's a nice frog. Now we had that problem where the animals were too large and we want to put them on our grid. We will change their sizes just now. We'll see how we're going to change the size of each one and we'll, be, we'll do it faster than we did yesterday. Oh, Kwanga has raised a hand, yay. Let's go and see, Kwanga. Um, Kwanga. Uh, Man, uh, an elephant. Oh, yay, Kwanga. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, good boy. Right. Uh, uh, now we're going to go and choose a spot. We're going to look for the elephant. Uh, Kwanga's really paying attention here. Right. There we go. Well done. Now we're going to go and put in our grid. Our grid for all these animals, and we're going to change all of these sizes. Let's change them to small sizes before we carry on, because you know they're too large for our screen. So remember, we when we click on the these and move them around, what happens over here? Look there, very interesting. And I'm going to double click on the dog, and then I. I see a dog in my little, little screen here in the middle, right in the top, to show us what animal we have clicked on. And that's very helpful because that means we can then go and do things. You know, that's the animal that we've clicked on. Let's go and change the frog size to 40. And then I'm going to go and click on the duck. Okay, I see the duck in the middle there in that screen. Can you see? And then I'm going to go here where it's it says size, I'm going to backspace that number, type in a 40 and press enter. Do the same with the horse. Make sure that it is selected over there because we don't want to work on the wrong animal here. Yeah, we want to change the horse too. So I delete what's there. I can highlight it and write over or I can backspace. I click there, backspace on the keyboard, type a 40 and press enter. Let's do the others, the boy, we're going to do the same. And then the dog, make sure that the dog has been selected. And then the owl, we make them all 40, except for the bear, he's going to be 30 because he's a very large animal. So the elephant, and then the kitty cat. And a fish, that's what the, basically the bear has to do at the end of the day, he wants to catch a fish for supper. And then the bear, we're going to change his size to 30. Right, so we've got all our animals there, now we're going to go put in our background, and by the way, I think I might be able to share this background pictures with you. The backdrops, if you can see backgrounds, you know, it's all boring at the moment, there's nothing in that on that stage, it's just the animals flying around, you know, animals don't fly, we know that. So we want to put them in some places. Only birds fly, of course. So what we're going to do, choose a backdrop. If I go to choose a backdrop, I click that, I just move my mouse onto that circle and then I move it onto the magnifying glass and I click over. And then we go, you see millions, lots, not millions, there's a lot of backgrounds, okay? Not quite a million. But we have different categories over here. And I'm looking for a grid where there's like square blocks, you know? 
See, there are some square blocks. So if you want to use this one, you can. With the larger square blocks, you can use that grid. But I actually want to use a special grid that was drawn and in a picture format. So I'm going to go and do that now. And I will share this picture with you. I think I can share it in the chat. We're going to try that just now. So I'm going to choose a backdrop, upload backdrop. So I'll move to choose a backdrop. And then you can see you can either choose one or you can paint one. And by the way, you can paint sprites too. And I know a lot of you are very good at using paint. You can draw very fine diagrams and paint. And then we have a surprise background, which means a surprise meaning you don't choose it or the computer will just give you a random background. Or we can go to upload backdrop. So I'm going to click on that, upload backdrop. And then I'm going to go to the place where I stored it on my computer. And I'm sure you can do this on your phone also. You know where your pictures are. You should automatically go and open your pictures. So I've got my backdrops in here. So I went to, I'm going to use grid for now. Now I'm going to try and share these in the chat just now once you finish. So I'm going to click open, I click on it and click open. And then we have this backdrop it automatically puts it on there, but it's a bit small, isn't it? So we're actually going to change the size of it. And this is where we're going to use this really complicated window in the middle here <clears throat> for backdrops. So just remember that we are, we selected the stage. You see it's blue at the bottom. On the right hand side, it's blue, which means the stage is selected. If I click on a sprite, that means the sprite is selected, it's blue. If I go click on the stage, there's the stage selected. I'll go back, let's click on the dog here at the bottom. Can you see now the dog is selected? Or if I go and click on the boy here, then we can see that the boy is selected. Now, come on, there we go. I had to move him a bit, you know. And by the way, I've got, oh no, I haven't got two boys, don't worry. It's just that this, um, this grid has got pictures of the animals on already, just to help us to place the animals. So <clears throat> just to demonstrate, the horse is selected, the bear is selected over here. If I click on the bear, then the bear is selected. But I don't want to select the animals. I want to work on the stage now. So I click on stage at the left hand, at the right hand side here. <clears throat> so to click on stage, and what do we have <clears throat> on the left hand side? Look carefully over here. There are three tabs. You can choose either code or backdrops or sounds. If I click on backdrops, we got this window and we can see backdrop one, I click on it, it's blank. Backdrop two, click on it, well, that's the grid that we got from um, Zora. And then the third backdrop is called grid, that's the one I uploaded from my computer. Remember, we're working on a web page now. When we upload, we're actually getting things from the computer and putting it on the internet. This program is sitting on the internet right now. Now, the background that we see there, we want to make it larger because it's too small. So I'm going to click on this button here. It says convert to vector. Right, so here is convert to vector. Now, once I've done that, I can actually move this thing around here. I can also get the arrows, corner arrows, you see those arrows, we can then go and resize. And that is what I want to do, I want to resize it. And as I resize it, look what happens on the screen. And as I move it, that's what happens on the screen. You see I'm moving it on here, and it basically moves it around on the screen. Maybe a bit tricky, but I think you can get the hang of it and you try it over and over again. So you had to convert to vector. I'm going to convert back to bitmap, and then I'm going to leave it. And now I want to go and place my animals in the right places. So I'm going to put the little duck over there. I'm going to put the horse in its place, put the frog in its place. The doggy goes down here. Kitty cat goes there. The boy goes there. Owl's going to go sit in his little corner. And the bear is going to sit over here, elephant on top of that elephant, and there we go. So there's all the places for all the animals in their little boxes. Fine. Now we've got the situator, guess what? We're going to use 
our other background. We have a blank background we're going to upload. It's just the blank grid. So I'm going to go and choose backdrop over here at the bottom. And it says choose backdrop. And then click on upload backdrop. And then navigate to the place we want it and where we want to go and find our pictures and click on blank grid. Click open. And now all of a sudden, the grid is blank. Can you see it's added another backdrop over here on the left hand side and our animals are in the right places. We can just make sure they're sitting properly in their little boxes. Elephant's a little bit large for his box, but that's fine. Elephants are fine. Duck's a little bit large, but we'll keep him like that too. We can change the size of those animals further if we want, but you won't worry now. It takes time. You can do it. Okay, Kwanga has got a question. Yay. Um, Let's go and see. How can I make ask to unmute? Uh, um, how long until the, the class is done? Maybe it's another 40 minutes, you know. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, we're now going to go and start with the rest of our program that we want to do hey let's go and see i've lost my train of thought here right now where were we okay we have to look at our backs on, on our stage you'll see we have backdrop one xy grid the grid with the pictures and a blank grid which we then go and reposition our animals carefully and we can change size too right so change the horse's size why not let's go and get all oh, we'll see there horse click on horse i have to click on it a couple of times and move him that he selected and then I'm going to change it to 30 for the horse and for the elephant I will change the elephant to 30 as well and the duck Ryan Bartlett okay uh, hello Ryan uh, you have a question yes um uh, we don't have the backdrop, and um, I'm using a different scratch than this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. You can use a different scratch, no problem. Um, but it'd be nice if you used MS Zora once you once it's all working, because then you can share files and stuff on the actual website. So make an effort to get that done. But for the pictures now, I'm going to try and send them via the chat. Okay, so I'm okay, going to send the chat now. Good question, thank you. Right, so let's go and go to the chat and let's see if we can send those images for the backdrops. Okay, so I'm going to go and send a file from my computer. <clears throat> And I'm going to send the other one. Okay, it says it was sent successfully in the Zoom group chat. Oh, um, oh, why is it only going to, I want to go to everyone. What's the matter with me? I sent it to the wrong place. Okay, let me try it again. Why did that happen? Oh, okay, right, I think it's done now to everybody. Okay, are we fine? Yes, Avik, let's see, I uh, will ask you to unmute. What's the question on those things you sent in the group chat? Was it press? Uh, what about them? It says Picture. download. Was it yes, press? yeah, yeah. You click on it and then you download, and then it goes to probably your downloads folder. Okay, thank you. Okay, 
no problem. Right, so those are the grids for creating your little program. It looks like this. And if you have Scratch, you can go ahead and get that done. Now, we have to get moving on to the rest of the work that we're supposed to do. So this was a repeat of yesterday, yes. So I know there's a lot of new people here and we don't want to leave anyone behind. Um, basically, the, the, the bear has to move first to the elephant, okay? And he's gonna ask the elephant his name and surname and then display it. Then the bear is gonna move across to the owl. He's gonna ask for name and surname and age. Then he's gonna move along to the duck and the duck, um, if I can remember correctly, what's the duck going to do? Um, the duck, 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 what are you going to do? Oh, my word. Oh, he's going to do the addition mathematics problem. Going to add two numbers up. And he's also going, the duck's also going to uh, subtract numbers, I think, but we'll see. Then, the horse is going to do multiplication for the bear. The frog is going to do um, division. The cat over here is going to, oops, what is the cat going to do? Uh, oh yeah, is the cat's going to find which is the largest number of two numbers. Uh, the dog's going to find which is the smallest number of two numbers. And the boy, his name is Ben, uh, he plays soccer, but we're going to decide. We're either going to let um, the boy catch the, the bear in a uh, cat and mouse game or hide and seek, or the bear can catch the boy in hide and seek, or we can have him playing soccer together. So when we get to that, we can decide what we want to do. But after the bear has played a game with Ben, he's going to go down here and then have some fish for supper after he's caught the fish. Right, so there's lots of things we're going to do there, but you must remember when the bear walks, he can only go in one straight line. He can't go side, he can't go diagonally like that. Okay, he's not allowed to walk like that. He cannot walk um, sideways. <laughs> okay, you said somebody had a question or the hand up. Yes, you can't log into Emizora. There is a problem right now, and we're working on it. Um, uh, Lisa, if you've got a flash drive, you can put it across onto your laptop from a flash drive. Or we'll ask, uh, we'll get them, uh, the, the, uh, the files can be loaded on Amazora soon. Okay. Um, all right, uh, we'll carry on to those questions later. What we have here is basically Valencia. Hello, Valencia. Uh, you have a raised hand, and we have Norwazi. Norwazi, um, I'm asking, unmute. You can ask your question. Ma'am, I I can't get the um, the backdrop. I didn't get it. The picture on the chat. Yes, ma'am. I didn't get it in the group. Okay. Uh, uh, can you see the chat? Do you know how to get to the chat? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, go open the chat. I'm going to send it again. Okay, ma'am. Right. I'll do that now. now. And Valencia, I'm asking you to unmute. You can ask your question now quickly. Ma'am, how do you get to the animals? The animals. Really. You can watch the video again. You'll see. But I'll show you very quickly again. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly again, okay? Um, okay, my floor, but I don't know what I did there, but I think I put your your mic on for some unknown reason. Anyway, right. Um, to get to the animals, lovey, you go over here. You see with the sprite, choose a sprite. Okay, you say choose a sprite, and then you click on that. Choose a sprite search button, and then you'll see all of these sprites here, and you click on animals. And then you can choose one, and then when you click on it, um, it'll automatically, you double click on it, and then automatically it comes up over here, okay? Okay, I don't want um, uh, the cockroach, Mr. Cockroach here now, so I'm going to delete him. Right, so you can go back and watch the videos if you've missed out on anything, because we can't repeat everything every day, but we can do as much as we can. Owazi, you raised your hand. <laughs> 
Let me see um, if we can get you whilst to unmute. Yes, Nawazi. Ma'am, how do we get the backdrops? Because when I try to get them, it, they, it doesn't want oh. to show me this one. Okay, I will go and upload it. I will go and put it onto the chat again, but you must remember it's going to be on MS Zora anyway soon, and then you can get it from MS Zora, but I'll put it on the chat again. Um, the other girl also had that problem. So we'll do that now, okay? So I'm going to put it on the chat. There it is. And the next one. And there it is. Right, so you can download it from there. You've got to download. You've got to click on it and it'll download to your computer or your phone. Right, so I'm not going to ask any more, answer any questions again. Now we're just going to move on to what we're supposed to be doing. Well, we're not going to get to um, starting with bear walking, but we are going to start with how to start a program. Like how we actually, we got a, we've, we've saved, actually we should save before we go on any further. Hey, once you've done all of this, and you've got your grid and you've got your animals, you better go and file, save to your computer because otherwise all that work you've done is lost. And what happens? It goes and saves it here at the bottom of the screen. As soon as you get a file, as soon as you say file, save to your computer, right at the bottom here, you will see scratch project one, well, what if I change the name? Bear walks. And I say file, save to your computer. Can you see? Look happen, look what happens. We change the project over here with the name. And then it saved it as bear walks. And you can go to your folder, show in folder, your download section on your phone, on your computer, you'll see the .sp3 bear walks is there. So I've saved it. And why am I saving it? Well, you know, we must save it. Otherwise, we can lose all our hard-earned work. Now, in order to get bear to walk, we need to look at the left-hand side here. Now, we know we can move the mouse like this, and it's easy, hey? But no, we don't. It's got to be automated. The computer must do it. We're not going to move bear itself. We're going to write code, instructions, in other words, use these blocks to make the bear walk. And when you want to start a whole set of instructions or blocks to make anything happen on your program, this is our first program ever, we set up our the screen that you see here on the right hand side, that's your interface, the pretty part, you know, the way that you want it to look, how nice and the colors and everything. That's we call fancy word interface. Now we're going to go do the coding, which is the more difficult part, but also more fun. So first of all, we're going to write a program, the very first program. How do we start writing a program? Well, you click, you start with a start button. Yep, a start button and an end button. You have to have a starting point and an ending point. But where would we find a start button or a block? We call them blocks in Scratch. Well, if you look at all the colors, we have one for motion, one for the way it looks, one for sound. Well, what do all these things do? Well, motion is moving, okay? When you're moving around, when you're walking, when you're in the car, or in a boat, or on a train, you're moving, it's motion. So that is what the motion section is all about. All the blocks around, surrounding or describing the way something is going to move is in our motion, which is blue. The purple button is all about the way we look. So for instance, man has got makeup on and lipstick, it's the way I look, you know, I'm all worried about how I'm looking. And that is what we do with looks. Now looks section over here in purple, it's got a lot to do with colors and so on, but it also has to do with saying things like speech bubble. Like if, if I was a program, you'd see a little speech bubble over here. If I was a scratch program, you'd see a speech bubble, yes, with all my words in it. So that's basically what the say blocks of here are doing. You see the say hello or say hi or bye. Um, so looks is also about what the, the sprites or the actors are actually going to say. Then we have a sound section of here that's all about sounds. We're not going to deal with sounds in this course, but you can play with it on your own. 
at some point, maybe next year. Then there's a difficult one called events. Yeah, big boring word, events. Well, it's not boring, you know, events, you know what events are, you know, we go to an event, but, oh, we don't go to events now, but we used to go to events. But what in this, in the case of programming, what it means is all, uh, important things to happen on our compute, on our program, the important things, like for starting. Now, to start a program, when we want to run a program, we click the arrow, the green arrow over here. Can you see it? That says go. The go flag. It's not an arrow, it's a flag. Gosh, my eyesight. Is that the bucket arrow? Do you know? It's a flag. So we click on the green flag and that says go. Now there's nothing to go here because I haven't put in code. The green flag starts the program. That red um, stop sign there will stop the program. Well, we need this block called when the green arrows click. How did it come up there? It scooted away. I dragged it. I'm putting it back. I'm dragging it into the middle again. And I'm putting it back. I'm dragging it to the middle. <coughs> Can you see what I did there? I moved. I clicked on this. When green arrows clicked. And there it is. Now, one important point to make sure about I have to make sure that I'm dealing with Mr. Bear. Why? Because only Mr. Bear is going to walk around here. Those other animals are going to stay in their place, except for Ben the boy. He's going to walk around sometime, but that's much later. <coughs> Sorry. Mr. Bear, can you see the little picture here in the top right hand corner of this big screen? We know that Mr. Bear is selected. He's the one that we want to walk. So we make sure he's selected over there. Um, we cannot, we don't always see them over here, but as you can see, he's blue over here too. So I get the events, which is yellow, and I make sure I have this when the green flag is clicked. And that means the start of the program. Can you see that these blocks have got little round, it's like a hat. Can you see they've got like little round sections on the top? That means no blocks can go on top of them. You can't go and put another block on top of it. Okay, it's not going to slot in. These are like puzzle pieces, actually. You'll see later. So when the green arrows click, it's called a hat block. They've got hats on them. So that's cool. Now, that's the start of the program. What about the end? How do we stop a program? Well, we go down to the next section over here, which says control. So control is where we're going to stop. And there's a stop block. There it is. Now control is slightly different to events. They're a bit confusing, I know. But we can just remember them as yellow and orange. Orange, if you can't find it in the yellow section, you go to the orange section. Okay, remember it like that for now. So <clears throat> when the green arrows clicked, we start the program in the stop is when we are stopping and in this case you can see that stop all means are we stopping this script in other words the bear or we are the other scripts in the in sprite or are we going to well the script meaning sorry there's two words script and sprite they sound the same they look the same even i got confused there for a second script is code in other words program language or instructions or these blocks are the script these two things are scripts there's one script and another script that's the first script that's the second script i'm slotting it in like that so this program is doing absolutely nothing it starts and then it stops and that little error that says stop all we can decide whether we want to stop just this particular script here, this one, because there could be other, we can have many, we can have some more, we can have this one as well, we can have some more things happening here, but we're not going to go there now, okay, we need to make one, one script, in other words, one program, so don't worry, we'll get to that difficult part later, we'll have more than one program at the same time.
But right now we're only dealing with one. We just want the bear to walk to there and then walk up that way and say hello to Mr. Elephant. So when the green arrow is clicked, the bear is going to start walking. And then when he's done everything, then we're going to stop the script. But we can also say stop all. In other words, the whole program, if there's any other activity happening, then everything is going to close, okay? When we click that stop. But at the moment, we don't have any other activity here. So before we go, I'm going to make sure that there is at least one thing happening before tomorrow, when I see you again, we're going to move 10 steps. So we go to the motion and we're gonna move 10 steps, the very first block. I'm going to move it up over here and I'm going to go and put it in between those two. Can you see it fits like a little puzzle? So that should be fun. Now, um, right, so, we are now going to go and run this program. Yes, it gets complicated. Hey, we're going to click the green arrow. Or you can double click the script. Yes, yeah, scripts. This is your very first program. What's going to happen when I run this program? Let's see. I'm going to click the green arrow. Do you see? They walk 10 steps. Let's take it. Let's put in there 100. Let's see how far it goes. And then we click the green arrow flag. You know, there he's moved. Didn't you see that? I'm going to move him back and then I'm going to click the green flag. There he went. All right now, if I want to have big screen, full screen over here, I'm going to click on my full screen over here and I'm going to click on the green flag and let's see what Mr. Bear does. There he goes. He went there, but very fast. Not really pretty, is it? And now I have to click that stop button or click this button over here to go back to my normal screen. So <clears throat> that is basically all we've got for today, folks. Um, there's two minutes left. Let's see if there's any uh, messages. Anybody ask any questions? Now's your golden opportunity. And <clears throat> get on to downloading not downloading, sorry, going onto the website for Emma Zora <coughs> and try and do all of those things by yourself. Yes, we're tired, I'm tired. You've done so much work today. I hope you paid careful attention and we will see you tomorrow when we carry on with this program and we can do proper um, moving of the of Mr. Bear. Right, so Jimmy said you don't understand. Love, you must go back and watch the videos again. They're going to be on YouTube. What I've done in this lesson was covered yesterday. So yesterday's YouTube um, video will be, it's called lesson one. So yesterday's YouTube video will cover what we've done now. And um, I don't know when this video will be uploaded. I'm sure it'll be soon. And then you'll be able to uh, revise it, okay? Uh, but of course, it's going to be on MS or a bye bye. Have a nice day, everybody. Good girl. Oh, uh, oh, um, a four. You have a question, Lovey. Sorry, my Fuwa, I forgot. Oops. Fuwa, sorry, Lovey. I keep getting you asked. If I finish my homework, can I send it on Missouri? Oh, well, I hope so. I don't know. I've been trying to do that myself, but unfortunately, I cannot share yet. They're working on it still. Um, you can try, maybe try next time. Um, again, later. It should be some time today, I'm hoping. Thank you for the question, Lovey. And good girl that you're working so hard. Okay, Valencia. Man. Yes. Uh, so you're saying that we must double tap the green button to make the bear move. Well, you're going to put those blocks in first, like I did. Oh, those okay, man. 
See those blocks I put in the middle screen? You must put them there and then you can make with them. Okay? Yes, I did, ma'am. Bye. Bye-bye, love you. Good. Chevelle. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Chevelle. How are you, sweetheart? May you please send your email address? Um, we're going to have to ask um, Africa uh, Teen Geeks or, um, yeah, I don't know what the rules are about that. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to uh, share my email address, so we'll find out. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.